Welcome to the show. Here, look at oh, it. Oh, you're gonna jump. Woo! Like you get a snip. You get a snip. You get a snip. Woo! -hoo. Oh! Whoa. Clay is in the water trying to retrieve the snoop. He's gone. No. Just get it, baby. <laughs> so this is where it all started for me. Changed the boat, and this was us about 15 years ago, fishing in this exact spot. With this exact guy right here. With this here. big guy behind me. That's my brother. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and we're on hold tight charters. And we don't have to do anything today. We're getting the special treatment. Mm -hmm. So whatever you guys see here today is what you guys can expect. The pressure's on, Alex. He's, yeah. already, he's already got the cast net in hand. He's ready to catch the bait. And he promised me a tarpon today. So let's do it. If we don't catch anything, I want my money back. <laughs> Oh, it's early. Do you see them? He's got him. You need help? Clay always tells me, do less, do less. Do less, do less. less oh, is yeah, more. Right well, there. the thing is, is I wanted you to do more. And then when you expect someone to do more and they just don't do more. Keep, keep the lot, expectations low, baby. Yeah, keep the expectations <laughs> low. Expect <laughs> them to do less so that way you're always happy. That's right. Thing is, we trade off. I do less on the boat, more in the house. No, I don't know. I definitely do a lot of work inside that house too. Really? Really. What'd you do? What What have you done recently? How about sitting in front of a computer for 14 hours straight? Oh, I meant like housework. Huh? Well, I mean, what's the difference? There's we're a all, big difference. We're all working, aren't we? Because we you work in the house say? and housework, it's two different things, honey bunny. This is, uh, when you go guiding, I do, I do a lot of couples therapy. This is therapy for Clay and I. What we do is we come out here, we hash it out, we throw hash each other in the water once in a while, we baptize one another, and then we come back and we're a whole new person. Look at them, look at them. Look at them. Oh, they crush right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. Turn around. You got this. Oh, they're flipping. Whoa, I've never seen nice someone throw, throw that. Dude. He has that arch. There you go, that's filming. Poor Alex. Dude, Alex, speaking of flexibility, dang, you killed it. In a barracuda. Yeah, it's going to be a good day, everybody. Welcome to the show. So I just caught the bait, only two throws. Made it nice and easy, simple. And basically what Alex is gonna have us doing is we're just gonna be fishing this channel right here. He said that a lot of these tarpon are in here feeding on the exact baits that we were just catching, pilchers. You guys see us catch them all the time. And uh, so what are we gonna do? Just drop the trolling so motor? Basically, yeah, we're just gonna stop right here, um, just drift back the baits with the current mm -hmm. and uh, throw some liveies out there and get that feed to happen and then boom, tarpon it's, on. So it's that simple? It's that simple. If you, if you find the bait, you find the fish. Let's see it. So we got a little 4,000 size pen battle here, 30 pound braid, 40 pound leader, little tiny circle hook right there. And then I'm gonna try to pick a nice big lively bait. And a big thing I wanna mention, whenever you're scooping bait out of a live well, try to scoop only one of them. Because the problem is, is once you get a bunch of different baits inside the bait net, they all start running into each other 
and they all start beating each other up. So you want to try to single that one bait out that you're going to use because you want your bait to stay as lively as possible all throughout the day. I got my first bait on. Let me show these two how to catch a fish. Oh, he's on. He's so full of it. Okay, whatever you say. Do you really have a fish on? Yes. <laughs> All right, y'all keep on talking. God. No, we're good. Yeah, he is on. I told you, I'm not playing. Nice. Mango. That's why you hold tight right there, you see? Got these two in the back here. You got these two sleeping on me back here, thinking I'm hooked on a mangrove. You are? Yeah. You're not wrong. So because this right we're here. we're hooked up, we're screaming like crazy. This is a mangrove snapper. You guys have seen us catch them all the time. That is definitely a legal one. It's a nice one. And this is what you can typically expect to keep on Alex's charter. He's really, really good at catching these guys, though. He's bycatch right now. We're trying to catch a tarpon. But if he wanted to keep fish, he would be going in the box right now. That's what you guys will be eating for dinner. So I keep on getting questions about the D-hooker. Everybody is so confused on how to use them. So as you can see, the fish is dangling on the line right here. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead, put the D-hooker up against the line, slide it all the way back, right? And then once you have the line caught inside of that little uh, slope, I guess you could say, you want to follow it all the way down to the hook, right? And you want to get behind the hook, just like this. And once you're behind the hook, you want to make sure that the fishing line is straight up and down, the same exact way it is right now, but reversed. The key is to keep the line straight up and down, just like I have it right here. And as you can see, the D hooker is behind the hook, so all I have to do at this point is just give him a little shake and the gravity is going to pull him right off the hook. Just like that. Nice! Nice! Yeah. This is lucky day. Well, we got fish on the boat. That's cool. We can go home. <laughs> hey, that's a good day for me right there. One fish. Some days that's all you need. We were making ceviche. We're good. circle hooks is because birds they, they get a hard time getting them off. Dang it. It's okay. I got them. So this is a very unfortunate part about fishing. There's absolutely nothing we could have done to make sure that this seagull didn't eat this bait, but he came down crashing on it and he ate it and got hooked. It stinks, but you should never cut the line. I mean, try to do your best to remove a hook if you can. Here, let me do this, Stephanie. Do We're a pair it? of pliers. No, I'm gonna crunch down on the barb of the hook so yeah, that way it just slides say. out. Come here, dude. I'm sorry. It's all right. It's on the bottom. He'll be all right. Is he able to breathe, Stephanie? Yeah, but I'm trying not to let him move too much. <sighs> Poor little guy. Yeah, he can breathe. Are but you, you sure? see, he's gonna bite you. I'm just saying. I know. I'm ready to get bitten. Oh, nice, Kim. Okay. okay. One, two. You just let him go. Look, Toldy, he, they'll try to attack you. Sorry, dude. There you go. All right. Take care. That stinks. It's never a good thing when you hook a bird or something like that, but it's good that he got to swim away or fly away. <sighs> we try our best not to do things like that, but at the same exact time, we want to make sure there's not a line and a hook hanging out of his mouth. Yeah, so many people cut that. I know. It's sad. That it's is so really hard. sad. But we got him. We saved him. Come on! Woo! <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Did you? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, sorry. Oh, he, oh, he broke off. That was cool. That was so cool. <laughs> hey, it fights like a tarpon and jumps like a tarpon too. <laughs> That's a tarpon with teeth. I'm losing, I'm just losing hopes. I don't think he's gonna bite it. <laughs> that was Barry, Barry the Barracuda. <laughs> Had a little show there. He's on! The tarpon! Tarpon! I'm on too! Wait, we, I think we caught the same fish. I got a tarpon! I, oh crap. Are we? No way. Yeah. I'm hooked up, yeah. Did he eat both baits? I don't know. What's going on right now? Clay, I think we're both think, hooked up to the same do you have Who has them hooked? That's the real question. I have, I have I'm some pretty sure I have them hooked. I don't know, we both got some tension on this fish. This is a nice little, I don't know, I'd say 20 pounder, Alex. <laughs> uh, oh, Are, I nice, think I have them. I think I have them, Clay. Hey, even if we don't catch this don't fish, we got exactly what we came for to see a tarpon jump. <laughs> we literally Ooh. hooked up on the same fish. He's gonna jump up again, right? Yeah, get ready, Zach. Oh, he pulled mine. And mine. No, I'm on. No, I'm not. I think I was the one that was on, Clay. Yeah. Dang it. That sucks, it's but you know what? Fishing. That's fishing. The thing about tarpon too is like you get one shot, one opportunity to hook that fish because they are some smart fish. As soon as you hook them once, your odds of catching that same fish are very slim. So Alex is giving us the real charter experience. So I decided I'm gonna give him the real client experience <laughs> right here. Show him, show him what I, I got going on for you right there, Alex. This is just another day in paradise. Right? <laughs> That's what it's all about. Just another day in paradise. Just come out. All with a little patience. But patience must run in the family. Yeah. Well, nobody runs in the family. <laughs> <laughs> That's <is> funny. <laughs> nobody runs in the family. That's funny. <laughs> All right, thank you, Alex. Oh, just rolled on it again. Let me, let me grab this. Oh, it's a tarpon. Yeah, it's a tarpon. Oh, he didn't hit. Woo. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Try not to put too much pressure on him, because I really, really want to get this fish to the boat. It would be so cool to show you guys. But it's been a little while since we've had a nice sized tarpon on here. So a big thing about this fight right here, guys, is when I first hooked this fish, he was way behind the boat. So the angle at which I was fighting him at really didn't matter all that much. I can kind of keep that rod tip high, but I was still keeping it low. And as you can see, I'm trying my hardest to keep that rod kind of low towards the water. So I'm fighting him at that same exact angle. See, the problem is, is once they get close to the boat, if I raise that rod tip up, I'm fighting him at an entirely different angle. So the key is to kind of fight him out towards the side, keep the rod tip low. It's probably gonna jump. Woo! Got Still him. got him. Woo! Nice. Give him, bring him to mama, baby. That's cool, man. He's there gonna he come is. up here he's and right he's here. gonna, He's That's got, a good sized tarpon. He's got so much left in him because he's been being so lazy in this current. So I wouldn't be surprised if he put on a show for us. He's still thinking it's nice and early though, you know? He's like, it's early, I just got a meal. I'm gonna take my time here. So I'm gonna do the same exact thing. I ain't gonna horse him. It's been a while since we've caught one here. He's pretty lazy. He's just staying right down there on the bottom, just chilling in the current. Here, I'm coming this way, guys. You can see him right here. Look at oh, him. Oh, he's gonna jump. Woo! There it is. <laughs> That's it. 
I was Heck. trying to remove all the slack and point the rod at him because what happened was is that leader just got so chafed up and as soon as he jumped what happened was is between that chafed leader and all that extra pressure of him shaking his head around that's what broke the line but if you ever want to come out here tarpon fishing you're probably going to hook 10 catch one if you're lucky it took me probably about 20 tries to Same catch here. my first tarpon. It took a really long time before I was actually able to uh, catch one. Technically, catching one is like, you gotta touch the leader and bring them both sides. Mm -hmm. That was cool though. Yeah. Nice job. Good job, Clay. Yeah. Nice job. Nice Just job. stinks I couldn't put that extra little. That's all right, we got the show. Good I'm job. Jumping right next to the boat, so it was sweet. So what happened was tide came up, pushed all that bait up onto the flat. So we're just gonna go to another spot. We're gonna try to get some snook, change it up. Switch it up. Switch it up. When one thing isn't working, you do another thing. Yeah, the big one. Yeah. Look at them. They're all blowing up everywhere. Look at them. You saw the snook back there? Oh, oh, he's on it. He's on it. He just ate it. Got him. Nice snook. That's a big one. Yeah, that's a nice one. That's a really nice one. <gasps> Trying to keep my rod tip Come low on, so that Clay. way he doesn't get underneath the mangroves here. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Get out of there. You don't want to go in the mangroves. You got him, Clay. No, you got I'm going to have to put the pressure on him. Put the pressure on him. Woo. Do it, do it. I can feel him. He's wrapped around yeah, something, man. Him, he's, he's all the way. The, I'm gaining on him, though. Water? I'll do it. No, I can get in there. I kind of want to do it. Okay. Get in there. He's, he's way, look, look. He's, he's behind these trees. Okay. You want I'm going to leave, hold on to it? I'm gonna leave the drag loose. Where is the... Uh, oh, you Take your mic off. So we're going to do a little underwater fishing here. Follow that line, baby. Clay is in the water trying to retrieve the snook because it wrapped around a mangrove and he's... Okay. So right now we're working together to get this out. He's like wrapped around this entire mangrove right here and Clay's trying to get him out. Oh, he got him. He got, got him. him. He got him. Here, Alex, uh, take that off. He's got him. No. Just get it, baby. Woo! That's a big snook. Keep him in the water. You know he's a big one when you got to go swimming for him right there, baby. That's what you call hold tight charters. Got to hold tight, baby. Yo! Don't forget to pack your swimsuit because you may be going <laughs> in the water. <laughs> I was so positive once he went up inside the mangroves, I was like, yup, we're done here. That's a wrap, but just went up inside the mangroves. I saw him, he kind of went up inside and he wrapped the corner over there. And he was literally about to break off. I grabbed him. Here we go, baby. That's so Woo! cool. Nice awesome job. job, Alex. I mean, let me get a pic of you. Yeah, that's that's unreal right there, man. That's a big snuff. All right, we're gonna let this guy go here. That was so cool. Oh, man, that was great. Good job, baby. <laughs> Dude, I knew you would do it. it I even said it. You know, I feel like sometimes when the camera's rolling, fishing gets really, really tough. But I think that snook wanted to be famous. 
You wanted to put on a good show for us. Woo, that was so cool, man. <laughs> good job, babe. Good job to you guys. That was nice. Way to put us on, of Cap. Of course. Woo! <laughs> Seventy, watch out for the bird. Oh, and they're blowing up in the back. <laughs> Dude, sweet! This is super cool. It's been a while since I've actually caught a snook of this That's size. That's a nice one too. That is a nice one. They're just blowing up all around. Get him! Get him, Seventy! Got him! Nice! Rod tip low. Rod tip low. Nice, Stephanie. Oh, they're just Woohoo! Nice. Oh, Woohoo! Nice job. Woo! Brother nice. sister duo right That's there. That's right. That's wow. Awesome, guys. This is what you call an inshore charter. I mean, we caught we hooked up on a, a tarpon. Now we're catching like slot snooks. Like this That's is awesome. what Look at that I one. love. That 70, that's almost as big as mine. Nice job. job. Woohoo! Nice. So I'm going to keep so him over the boat just in case, or on the side of the boat, just in case he flips and he lands. I want to be really gentle with them. Oh, Give him a kiss. And also, oh, I'm going to keep are. him in the water right here and he holds on to my thumb until he's ready to go. Big thing is too, guys, is, you know, we like to catch and release snook just because there's so many other fish that we can eat out here like mangrove snapper like we were catching earlier today. So these are sport fish. They pull really hard. So we try to treat them with as much care as possible. A lot of the times we don't even like to bring them in the boat. As you guys saw, Alex just caught him with a net rather than handling him, him flopping all over the deck. Really, really, really want to make sure to just be as delicate as possible. And Stephanie's doing a really nice revival right there. And like she said, when he's ready, he'll just let go of her thumb like a baby. There he goes. There he goes. Look at that. Good job, Zach. Oh, man. Adrenaline okay, pumping. Careful with, yeah. careful with this towing motor. Come over here. Walk over here. Don't feel anymore. Nice job. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Nice. Man, that's so cool. That's why you go a whole tie charter. Whole tie charter, baby. Nice job, Zach. Dude, that's awesome. Definitely the biggest snick I've ever got. Nice. And it was with me, baby. Hell that's yeah. right. <laughs> I just to say thank you, Alex. Thank you, Clay. Thank you, Stephanie. Not a bad day of work, right? And thank you, Snook. <laughs> Most importantly, look at that mouth, man. Just opens up so big to inhale those pilchards. And then if you look down the side of his body, they have a line. And what they do with that line is they use it to pick up on electrical impulses on the vibrations from bait fish. You gotta kiss him goodbye. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Snooky. Nice, dude. That's so awesome. I feel like Oprah today. It was like, you get a snook, you get a snook, you get a snook. <laughs> Woo oh! oh! Dang! Song. Yeah! <laughs> so we just made it here to Gilbert's all the way in Key Largo. If you see that bridge right there, that's the first one you drive over to get here to the Florida Keys. A lot of good vibes going on right now. Music's bumping. Stephanie's having a blast. Alex that's is right. happy because he put us on the fish. And this is a great spot to stop in and bring get a quick boat. lunch. You yeah, know? bring your boat. A lot yeah. of people when they come from Miami to the Keys, They'll stop underneath this bridge, park mm -hmm. their boat, hang out, grab a bite to eat, and grab a drink potentially. Okay. But when you're catching a bunch of fish, you gotta eat. That's right, I'm Starving. hungry. Thank Thanks. you so much. Over there. Over there. Thank, Thank you, you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm driving. 
I'm the captain now, Alex. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. This is the best pina colada I've had. Best one ever? Mm-hmm. It looks like very, like, milkshake. It is, here. Can I have your sherry? It's a suck card. I don't want that much. It is really good, though. Oh, look at that. Ooh, thank you I'm not so going to lie. Sometimes peel and eat shrimp, get a little fishy, just shrimp in general. Very picky with shrimp. These are really good. Can I have your cocktail Yeah. Those are actually really good. Good stuff, ma'am. So far, so good. I just want to thank you for taking us out fishing. Mm -hmm. We had an awesome time. There's not many times I get to fish with my brother and my husband. And you could completely exclude the fish and it was still <laughs> a good time. It Alex was. is honestly one of the most fun people I could imagine to fish with. But And that's pretty much what a good charter is. Like exactly. having a good attitude, getting out there and just putting people on the fish with a smile on your yeah. face. No, the fish are just a bonus. Uh, yeah. I don't know, do you take people to eat and do stuff like of this? Of course. Yeah. If you want to go to the sandbar, eat whatever, it's private charter. So, so whatever you, you want to do, I'm going to do it. So you yeah. customize it exactly the way the person wants. Yep. All right, so you guys heard it there firsthand. His information is down in the video description mm -hmm. below. Like I said, dude, appreciate it so much. Mm -hmm. It was awesome. Oh, I'm glad we killed Aww. it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you guys next week. We'll Thanks so much. We'll see you guys. Bye.